hello 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 welcome i mean welcome back on this crimson iot programming series um today's uh, program is like a kind of bottle detection program this logic i have already tried in plc side so i thought why can't we just do it in the iot side also so let's put in comments that it's a bottle detection program since this is a kind of bottle detection program just imagine the application like uh, there is a conveyor and there are bottles that are passing through that conveyor and uh, uh, there are also two sensors to sense the position of the bottles like top sensor and uh, also bottom sensor and uh, here the condition is like uh, if the top sensor along with the bottom sensor becomes true which means we get the sensors from both of those sensor then we know that the bottle is straight and it is going according to the condition in our production line so we can give the bottle status as bottles bottles checked like that and uh, this since this is a string tag we need to give it in double quotes and uh, here we don't need to do any kind of action so I am making the piston I have a piston here and I am giving this piston as zero which means false it won't do anything here and this is our first condition in this bottle detection program and uh, now let's come to the second condition which is the condition number two so here here uh, it's nothing but uh, the bottle has fallen guys which means like uh, uh, the top sensor won't be sensing so we will be getting the value of zero from the top sensor and uh, only the bottom sensor will be sensing which means like the bottle is like fallen under some under conditions like vibration or something like that so in this condition let me just write it first like bottom sensor it will be one so under this condition we can give the status of the bottle bottle status uh, bottles of the status like uh, maybe like uh, pneumatic pushing or something like pneumatic pushing yeah pneumatic push uh, so that uh, the piston will push the those fallen bottles so that those fallen bottles will be falling under some basket or something like that so that we will be having only the straight and uh, uh, standing bottles in the conveyor mm, then our third condition here is like uh, what if the both of the sensor doesn't sense anything uh, in this condition our uh, bottle should be uh, There won't be any bottle. There won't be any condition also here, but we should get some status as uh, There is no bottle anything like that. So here uh, if the top sensor and bottom sensor both of the sensor doesn't sense anything then we have to give some status like 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 what like there's no bottle at all or something like that bottles data so let it be there is no bottle at all and uh, here there won't be any pistons condition ah so here there won't be any piston condition but uh, the piston should be zero there, there is no use there is no use of piston actually so let's put the piston as to the zero position and yeah that's all about this bottle detection program bottle logic or uh, bottle protection line automation or anything you say um, let's execute the program here uh, the top sensor is a flag top and bottom sensors are flag tags and uh, I have done mistake guys uh, just two equal to I have to put for initialization and uh, bottle status is a string tag actually 
piston is a flat tag and yeah that's it and uh, now we will get all of our data tags in the data tag section and let's group these data tags into a group called uh, let it be some bottle um mm -mm -mm detection okay So now we have our program and uh, grouped all of our data tags and uh, now I have already designed on display page based on this application and uh, let's assign our data tags into this display page. So first let's put this top sensor in this place. and uh, in this place let's put the bottom sensor and uh, this is how i just designed uh, the piston structure and uh, let's put the data tag of the piston here and uh, this is our conveyor and this is the place where the bottle status will be updating so now let's assign our bottle status string tag in this place and uh, yeah now we have assigned all of our data tags in our display page and uh, one more thing is we need to call our main program in the on tick section of the display page so that our display page will be working according to our program and uh, yeah now we are good to go that now we have our program display page and all of our data tags group so now let's uh, download this program to see the output man what happened Okay, let's try it in simulation mode since I don't have any hardware. As you can see, since both of the sensors are not sensing, our status is like there is no bottle and if I turn on the bottom sensor, the piston will be coming front to the position 1 to push the fallen bottles into the basket or something like that and if I turn on the top sensor also, the piston will be going back to its original position so that our conveyor will be having only the standing bottles and our status will be like bottles checked and if I turn off the top sensor again, the piston will be coming front again to push the fallen bottles and uh, that's how this process will be working repeatedly in some production line or something like that and its status will be keep on updating in the bottle status section so that's all about today's video and uh, hope you guys learned something from this and uh, thanks for watching this video up to the very end and hoping to see you guys in my next videos Bye. If you learned something from this video, then please like this video, share this video with your friends so that more people can learn, and subscribe to our channel to learn more and turn the notification on. Thanks for watching.